Welcome back everybody to another episode of QNSC or quick, simple and effective cubing tutorials by Jacobs. Today we're going to be looking at 2x2, how can you get faster in a small amount of time. So there are a few steps how to get faster. Learn Ortega, practice Ortega, learn CLL, practice CLL, and sleep. Sleep a lot, okay? Sounds feeling like proven. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the equipment. So I'm currently using the Valk 2, which treats me well. I mean, it's amazing. I lubed it, for, I lubed it from time to time because it, it got quite slow after some usage. Uh, here I have the MoU. 2x2, which is not magnetic, it's really fast, and a lot of good people use this cube, so here we have the Chidi S, which costs like $3, and it's also really good. I see no, if you're a beginner, I see no point of buying the Walk 2 magnetic for $17 if you can buy a really good cube for just a fraction of that. Here's also a good thing to consider, the, the V cube, which costs fifteen dollars and I suggest buying this one because it's it's like the best cube on the market currently but you can look into that um, so that is with the equipment I really suggest you buying the Valk tube because it's amazing I it's really sturdy it is quite heavy co compared to the Vapo and uh, it will get your time down quite easily and it's going to last long if you're not if you're going to treat it good enough well enough let's get into my history so in my first competition in Latvian Open 2016 I got a PB average what do you expect from my first solve yeah um, I got a PB average of 518 which was which was incredible at the time later it was lingering around five seconds for a whole year. Then, when I started learning how to do Ortega faster, I started getting lower times, and as you can see, the PB average was in closing to four seconds. In Latvian Open 2017, I was still averaging the same as I did a year ago. Later, I started beasting my Ortega skill, and I actually got a sub four average with Ortega. Which you can, which is entirely possible if you, if you, if you practice enough. Now, currently, I was heading towards averaging about four seconds. Uh, this spring, I learned CLL, and as you can see, my times are sub four entirely, and some are even sub three, as you can see. Which is the times you're going to get if you're going to learn CLL. So let's look at some methods. Here we have layer by layer. So this is the beginner method. So this is Ortega. And this is CLO. Okay, so let's get into learning. Okay, so even with Ortega, you can get some really good times if you can look ahead. This is a really awkward, awkward for position for me, so... Okay. Basically, if you have not learned Ortega, which you have, probably. So, first of all, you, you need to find a side. Any side would work, any color should work. So I will go for green because it's like a two move side. As you can see one two. The side is sold. Now you have to learn like six RLs to orient all of the top. So as you can see we have here here. Um, you can use various algorithms like this or triple sec C or 
or some other algs from CLL. But I recommend you using this alg, like R2, U2, R, U2, R2. And the finger tricks I, I use for CLL is like this, which is incredibly fast. R2, U2, R, U2. Uh, basically, tricks like these will improve your times tremendously. After you've solved the top and the bottom, you need to do P PBL. And for this alg, there is an alg that a lot of you probably don't know without rotating and doing the alg itself, which is also fast. But you can, if you get like a case like this, you can do a T perm. You see, T perm starts with a sexy move. But you can start the first R, not an R, but an R prime. So you do a T perm, and the cube is solved. So it's it's a really good alg. Probably there are some better ones, but I find this one quite useful. Anyways, so when you've learned Ortega, I suggest you practice it a lot because practice makes perfect. Uh, recently, I read a book about sleeping and if you practice cubing a lot which you should do go to sleep early don't ever practice late hours go to sleep because sleep improves your finger tricks and that is scientifically proven fact go to sleep sleep well and then keep learning throughout the day and that is just a quick tip i should g give you uh, do a couple thousand of solves so if we go into my timer, let's see, so here I have all of my solves, you can see what, what I solved the most. Go and look at my history of 2x2, we can see that I have done approximately 6,000 solves on Ortega, which is quite a lot, but that is what you need to do in order to get fast. And afterwards, I learned CLL, and I will show you how CLL works, that is the the next method you need to learn if you want to become like a sub 4 easily. As you can see you need to solve one half of the cube and with one algorithm you solve the rest of it or the rest of the cube. So in Zill I am going to notice that this is the anti scene case and I will notice that these two are diagonal colors and these two are the same. So I solve it with one algorithm. Here is another case to solve one layer. Let's let's go for our orange. As you can see here we have this solve. I need to place this piece here and this one needs to go here. So what do I do? I insert this one like this and I just insert it that one like that. And as you can see, this is the CLL. So that is for CLL. You need to learn CLL to average sub 4. And after learning CLL, as you can see, I have done as you can see, I've done 7,300 souls. So this spring, I basically tried doing a challenge when dedication kicks in. As you can see, I did an average of 50, I think an average of 50, okay, let's go up. An average of 100 every day for CLL. As you can see, my, tri my times were improving by a little, but they were. And as you can see, my best average of 100 was sub 3, but that was not on the stack mat. So here we can see I have I had done done like 9 1900 solves, and my average of 100 averages were 3.3, which is quite good. As you can see, you need to practice a lot of two by two, and if you want to become a consistent sub 3 solver, you need to learn your one, um, one looking. Which is another method that I'm not going to go into because I'm not that good at it. I usually just try to yeet it, um, and because it's really hard to one look actually. So let's try to do the white side. As you can see, I will connect this one like here, and by inserting this to here, I will s switch it up with this. So I will just connect it like that and put it in. And immediately, I recognize that all of these sides are like blocks. So I do triple sexy move and that is how you get better in, in 2x2 you need to practice a lot um, another quick tip is knowing your AUF afterwards so if I see this case I know that this block needs to be above its color so basically if it's above red 
I will need to do a U2 afterwards and it helps to bring down the times tremendously. So all, all I suggest you do is learn CLL and practice it. <laughs> that is what you're going that is how you're going to get faster. Anyways I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to leave a like and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.